Dengue fever, arrests and climate change are the threats migrants face on the Honduras-Guatemala border. Thousands of people cross every day where it reaches 44 degrees Celsius during the dry season on their way to the United States. Thankfully, they encounter the hospitality of people like Felicita Palencia, who was trained by the Red Cross to care for them. Motiva, verdad, a trabajar con las personas migrantes. Sabemos de que todos tenemos la necesidad que ellos tienen. Members of the Red Cross work on the border road to guide groups of migrants and tell them where they can receive medical and psychosocial support. Mariana Bonilla is at the Care Centre for Migrants and Refugees, backed by the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, with donations from the European Union. Se han visto beneficiados en el, en el aspecto de ser capacitados, eh, como son promotores de salud, ¿verdad? Se les incluye también capacitaciones para que ellos estén en, en prevención de epidemias y pandemias. So far in 2024 alone, almost 8,000 migrants have been detained in Guatemala for deportation to Honduras. However, police arrests do not stop many Hondurans from making the journey in search of a better life.